Oh, hey, okay. welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib open mic. The link is on the right hand side in case anybody like to, else would like to join the show. Um, we're going to cover Black Swarm and uh, BP next week. Uh, I think we're going to see some uh, expected target changes. Well, we expected that the targets would change um, to some degree um, in the FM. But let me go ahead and introduce everybody from uh, left to right. Uh, Magic Mike slash cuteness. Uh, just uh, call me Mike. <laughs> Talk to you. <laughs> nice to see you all. Okay. And Jeff. Hello there. Hey. Uh, hi, Lord. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, Jordy. Good evening. Uh, Big Ben. Hello. Aussie. Good morning. And this is Hefe. So, uh, do you guys want to? Um, what happened to Mike? Nothing. I thought. Okay, I just can't. Uh, is it good? Okay, okay. You're not screen sharing the slides anymore. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, okay, there we go. I hit the wrong button. Okay, well, let's just quickly run through BP next week. Put it on present. Oops. Hey, do you just want to click that red box up on the top left? Oh, you did. No, you didn't. No, in I the hit, center I on hit the, top. The, the wrong button. In the Sorry. center at the top, there's a red square. Just click that. That'll get rid of all the names at the bottom. Uh, my screen's full. I don't have any anything. Okay. On. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're good. We're good. Um. Next week, we're going to get the uh, update notes as, as expected uh, and three new wallpapers. Uh, I'm uh, hoping they're at least slightly spicy. And uh, the only big news out of here is the July 1st second mission briefing will include info on targets and what you can expect in the reward store. So this info on targets means that uh, we may be losing targets, we may be gaining targets in the FM. And uh, probably about the time to get your Praetorian somewhat in gear um, for the upcoming FM. So uh, that's all I had on this. Uh, anybody else have any thoughts on this? Because uh, I have not seen. Uh, the other thing I was expecting, and maybe we'll come, back, come to that later, is uh, additional prizes. Uh, you know, they <laughs> like to do that. So. But we'll come back if there are any drop during the show. So uh, we're done with that, Mike. Does anybody have any thoughts on the uh, BP next week or the uh, potential changes to the FM targets? Well, I hope they don't lock the 120s. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm expecting a sort of a change in the economy. They might drop the 120s because they wanted to drop the 120s a while ago. So, <clears throat> I, you know, was it like two months ago that they just wanted to completely drop them and leave us with the 121s? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens out of that. So, um, I guess we should, uh, if there's no more on BP next week, we can... Uh, Proceed to the Black Swarm, and somebody's got their TV going. Not me. It's too early. Okay, it's gone now. So, <clears throat> alrighty. Um, so thoughts, thoughts on Black Swarm. Oh, grind fest. Well, yeah, it's all, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it, well. I don't know. It just seems like it's a, a long road to get to where you need to be. Well, yeah, and I'm only hitting one target, so that's a problem. Yeah, I think you need to explain, because I think for a lot yeah. of people, um, it's not really a grind fest. It's a different experience, because you're just hitting the 102. Yeah, and I'm doing the uh, 40 sets with the instance, you know, the... Yeah, yeah. Just on the map. Mm hmm so yeah, I can imagine with the the point allocation for that that it, that would be quite the grind fest. Um, um, well, over six days, I guess you could. If you only had a couple of days to do it, 
It'd be it'd be terrible. But six days is doable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh... so I guess I can take the fest away. I still okay. kind of a grind. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of people um, are have the silverfish and and the fire bride up and going and it's not really a grind fest it's sort of a different sort of experience um fire brat what the fuck uh suppressor <laughs> <laughs> i had to yeah. catch him because i'm like come on man <laughs> no, no 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 you know i'm still calling I'm like, did i miss something <laughs> you missed a couple of shows we've been calling it the fire brat for uh what a month or a couple of weeks at least <laughs> Um, you need a oh, yeah. Google, you need a Google Fire Brat or watch some of the old shows to figure. No, out. I've seen. Uh, I saw some like goofy shit, but I thought there was actually a second hole. I thought maybe you just added something this, this afternoon. Oh, uh, keep going. Sorry. Okay. I'll tell you what. If I had the Saturn, I'd be having fun. Okay. Um. So, how is everybody else uh, doing? That's doing the uh, the top two sets. I've been I've been doing the experimental ones the last couple. I've only hit a couple. I found some quirkiness associated with the suppressor slash fire brat um, that I don't really like. And I've also experimented with not using the the recommended method of using the the suppressor first to take out the gluts. I, I don't see any reason. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else has played with this at all. Is using the the silverfish to take out all the ancillary ships and just stay out of range of those gluttonies. And then it's much simpler to go in and kill the gluttonies afterwards with the, uh, with the suppressor. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, that's as yeah. we were talking just before the show. And that's actually what I was going to say about killing the ships first. Um, yeah. There is one step on the right hand side. They're a little bit closer. So you could probably leave those. There's three ships on the right in the cloud. Yeah, is that the five zero? Is it? Uh, five hundred. Oh, no, one of them. One I think there's three ships in a cloud up on the right hand side. They're a bit yeah. close, so leave those because um, they won't move unless you get too close with the suppressor. Yeah. Yeah. So kill them last. Yeah. Well, what build are you going with on your suppressor? Oh, I uh, what do I have on it? I think I just, in the end I, I'm I'm playing with it. I don't really know. It's not working. I put I put speed system five up six five on it first and the thing zipped that fast because the screen it was ridiculous, so I took that off. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm I'm still playing with it. I've got to try. I'm probably going to change it again. I thought the recommended build is a uh, payload three and that fucking silver gat. What? The Gatlin gun for the silverfish. I thought that and payload three was. I saw that somewhere and it, somebody said it worked. That it doesn't really make a lot of sense because um, you don't need you to do. do you don't need to do uh, the damage. ship has enough. Yeah, the ship has enough inherent damage that you don't need to do any additional damage. Mm. I've um, originally I just had you know basically a, a, a thought on it, and I got one sort of experience, and then I decided to refit that, and I put the Galea system and a. Uh, and a gale four on it um oh, those are only doing explosive damage so you're taking the explosive survival associated with the glial system and then you're adding the stuff to the countermeasures and then you're shooting down some of the mortars that are coming at you from the other ship this is oh. if you prep out the other stuff at first i'm not sure this is the best solution but i did find an improvement over the bear hall I wouldn't recommend off going offense with it because that uh, that aura does crazy damage, and all you need to do is surface and run away, and that and you've killed the ship. So the uh, offense isn't necessary. It's really mm -hmm. decide whether you want to go with defense or some sort of speed special. And honestly, it sounds like you took the speed system six off because of the problem. Yeah, I I just went too fast. It was ridiculous. Yeah. And I mean, without it on there, it goes pretty fast. And um, I just had a look because I only just got up. Uh, yeah, I've got the Gala and um, and uh, a um, a Gale 4 on mine at the moment. Okay. That's what I put on, yeah. I had to think. I, I only just got up. <laughs> yeah, because it's hard to, hard to tell because there is a glitch in it, and I, I'm having a hard time, like, 
um, figuring out what my exact damage is. If I'm out in the open water with the suppressor and I'm going back and forth and tr and trying to keep moving but make it surface, I can't do it. But once I get inside, um, I'm still moving and I'm surfacing. It has something to do with the, at least the way I see it, is <clears throat> proximity is to the, cloud. to the clouds is somehow yeah. interacting with this and s s slowing doing something uh maybe it's there's some sort of you know maybe it's because they're taking a little bit of damage or something because i found that last night too that yeah. if I, I i skirted the cloud as i went through and it surfaced and i thought what, what's going on <laughs> why did it surface <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and you, yeah, it's not good when you surface, especially if you got those other ships around. So yeah, well, if you're not close enough, if you, if you're right on top of the um, the uh, the gluttony, it's okay because you pretty much kill it straight away. Yeah, but if yeah. you're a little bit out of range, you, you're still trying to get there, and you're you're getting hammered by the second gluttony. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I put that that combination that the teams yeah. have on there as well. And that really cuts down the dish, the the, uh, the damage from the other gluttony. It seems by about half. Yeah, yeah, um, okay. that's what I went with, but I haven't really tested it properly yet. Yeah, I haven't had a like I said because I'm having this issue. Once you get in there, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm I'm halfway through something, and I'm surfacing again. Mm. I think they need to either but I did explain, find them, explain the mechanic or fix it. One yeah, because if you go up on the left and come through, the gap's pretty narrow, reasonably narrow. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so you got to go dead center. I've gone, I've done it a couple of times. You go dead center, it doesn't surface. But if you go one way or the other, too far, it, yeah, you surface. And you're not in the cloud, so I don't know. It's probably like the um, the last raid. There's is a cloud that you can't see. You're just inside it, and you don't even know you're in it. Yeah, it could be something like that. I, it's it's really frustrating yeah. because you do take, especially if you haven't done what I you know what I was talking about earlier of killing out all the killing all the other ships out first. Mm. You, you you can just end up dead if you just surface. Yeah, you yeah, because I did that exactly the same thing the first time. I left all the ships because that's what they recommended. Take out them first, and I'm thinking, yeah, this ain't working. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not going to work because I'll go the other way, kill everything else, then kill them. I'm I'm uh, I'm currently away from home, helping my father out a bit, and okay. uh, I have, I haven't got as much time to play, so I've got on and I've done one away to one ten, and my plan was to work my way up, get four million points, build this suppressor, and then get some points helping members of my ally prepping for them. You know, yeah. I, uh, I I kept tokens from the week before the raid. I was lucky enough, unlike Mike Hunt. To, um, <laughs> to to uh, get the, the second run on the FM, uh -huh. so I'm, I was quite. I went into it quite wealthy on tokens. Okay, I, I, I bit the bullet, you know, and, and, and wrote, wrote the storm about not having a fleet ready to go into the the bat, into the raid. I built this suppressor, and I have singularly never been more disappointed with a hull in the entire time I've played Battle Pirates. It makes me feel like a new, but I have no skill to drive it. It doesn't operate how I understand it. It could well be down to my total attitude, but it's just a heap of trash. Well, okay. Can you give more details as far as why you're having a hard time driving it? Well, because I'm, I'm old and it goes too fast. I put, I put an engine on it. Well, we said the you same. Know? We said the same thing about the twenty-one-year-old girlfriend, but you know, yeah. that didn't stop you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, but that didn't last long either. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, it just—it's just awful, mate. I just don't understand it. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I just don't want to understand it anymore. You know, when you when you start talking about the change to the FM next week, I thought, you know, this could be just about the breaking point. I've had enough. Of it now, it's uh, it's just it's just stupidity. That this this one ship business. Um, yes, there's a lot of uh, assumption going on, but in the initial run up to this raid series, um, th this isn't what was what I assumed was coming. I, I assumed I would have the option of building one or the other, not requiring both. Um, yeah. Just 
not not generally unhappy with it. It's not a pleasant experience to drive. Um, this whole thing about one special difference and it won't make much difference to the performance. Well, it makes a heck of a difference when there's only one spot. One spot. Yeah. And if you're driving to a speed that, you know, it's like Dark Helmet from Spaceballs. Once you go under, under underwater, switch to ludicrous speed and you're off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're bouncing off pop-up walls like a pinball. Crazy. What, what specials do you have on it? Speed System 6 and the Hail A. Okay. That, that was only because it that took it up to something like one hour short of five days build, which I had the tokens for. I didn't want to go over or under, you know. Okay, I, I might I might recommend when you had time, a better build can based on your complaint is, is uh, or your complaints about it is more what I what I did um, with the mm -hmm. glue system, which adds explosive survival and countermeasure you know the mortar range and uh reload and accuracy yeah and it doesn't add any speed so it's not as fast as what you're doing because once you submerge you have a 250 uh, percent combat speed bonus so you're yeah. taking that additional what speed system six is like 92 you're right. adding 92 on and then you're adding the 250 on so you're driving more of a hot rod than Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I mean, probably the, the speed system six while you're surfaced, but it, I mean, it, it doesn't move very fast when you surface. Well, it think. doesn't feel like it because you've lost 250% of your speed. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but even, with the, even, with, even with the engine, it doesn't really move that fast above water. Right. And, and you're still, so you're still getting a lot of splash damage from those, um, from the incoming projectiles from the second or both gluttonies or whichever. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it just goes too slow until it actually goes under. Yeah. How much, and, how much damage are you guys getting on that thing? I'm getting wiped out. No, I mean, no, no, no. I'm, I'm I haven't got wiped out yet, but um, I think I got down to about a quarter health after the second. After you know. one target? Yeah. That oh, was damn. my, that well, was my well, first run. That was, well, that the was three. And the gut was like three minutes. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, because I had I had the problem where I surfaced the second time, because I've only had it this for a couple of hours, and um, I had to do some other things. So I've only really run one target with it, um, with the current setup, and I I had the problem where I res I surfaced again and got fired out a second time, and I had twenty two minutes of damage killing them both with that. So if, I had, that was the first if I had time. surfaced again, it would probably be pretty quick. Yeah, that was my first my first build, my first run. I think mm -hmm. the second one we got the quarter health. Once I changed changed everything over on one run, but yeah, you're still used to doing pretty good. You're only getting how long? Say three minutes. I want your build. There's only two two things on there, so it can't be that much. Yeah, and it's probably your the technique of yeah. As soon as you serve, you don't need to wait for it to be dead. You just need to circle around that thing. Uh, I just pop up pretty much underneath it if it's in the water. If it's if it's just in the um, the yellow oh, snow, oh. you can just sit just outside it because that usually the way I go. By the time I get there, the first one's in the yellow snow, so I just sit outside the yellow snow. It pops up, kills it straight away. But what I'm saying is, as soon as you surface, you try to get away. You don't wait till it's okay. dead. Is what I'm trying to say. You don't. Well, you don't wait that quick though. By the time your surface is dead. Yeah, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. But pretty much. You don't have to move. It's dead before you do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is the game plan, I, I think, is yeah. if, as soon as you see yourself surfacing, you're trying move. to get back underwater. Yeah, you're yeah, trying to it's going to surface anyway. Yeah. Yeah, because as soon it's, as you stop, it's going to surface no matter what you do. So if you're turning, it's still going to have that delay of it going back under. Yeah. <sighs> And that, that delay, sound, it's, it seems like it's forever. <laughs> we've, been told it's, it's, we've been told it's four seconds. Yeah. Yeah, what I'm saying is it seems longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. You're waiting for it. Yeah. Well, what, where's my 93 range off this gun? It's not occurring at 93, that's for sure. The 90, oh, the, uh, the, the built-in weapon. Yeah, it's the the built-in weapon. You can 
it's it's the aura the aura is just bam it's uh what does it do like 25 million damage or mm -hmm. it's it's per second it's like that's the only thing you really need to pay attention to yeah um, well, but I'm, i just got one i did one just 10 minutes before the show started and mm -hmm. i got right i got right up to a gluttony nothing uh, if you're right on top of it, pretty much it dies. Pretty much as you said. Okay. I okay, okay, that, mine, okay. Anyway. Okay. Did, did it surface at the right? That's the pro the other problem I'm having, is it doesn't. You could click to a point, and sometimes it doesn't want to surface. It'll sit there for a little bit, and then it'll eventually surface. Hmm. Um, once I get to the point where I want to be, I hit the down button, and that causes it to immediately surface. Don't rely on. It oh, making okay. it to that point. Um, you hit the stop button and then you pop right up and then you get out. Um, don't rely on because it does, you know, it keeps on like wanting to circle and find that exact point and doesn't want to do it. But hit the down button, you stop, and you should, you know, by the time you see your ship, you know, up out of the water, it, yeah, as Aussie says, it should be dead. Well, it looked as though it was up out of the water. It wasn't the dark color, you know. But uh, no, the glut, the, the glut just sailed away. I don't think you surfaced, to be honest. <laughs> That's I mean, quite you, know, it, you know, it's, it's the only way because I was having a, I was having that problem before where I was like, and then I end up like, you know, ch trying to chase him because I surfaced later. It was a mess, but I would recommend. Getting to that point, finding a sweet spot of where you want to, you know, use the aura and hit the down button, and you should pop right up. Mm. I did. I did stipulate at the start it was probably down to my ineptitude, mage, but I'm just not enjoying that whole at all. I think if you make a couple of changes, if you're not, if you're having the problem with it now, um, it's a. Uh, you said you had a speed system six and what on it? The barbed. Uh, 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 um, ale. Hey. Okay. Well, I don't. Uh, you know, it's about a twenty-hour. Uh, it's about. I. Th it's a. About an eighteen twenty-hour refit, um, depending on your wherever. But if you're getting zero results from it, I would recommend switching over to that. Unless somebody shows up and gives a better build with better performance, relative to what you want, because you you don't want a ship that's as fast as yours. No. Yeah. Um, well, that's what I that was just ridiculous. I'm at the point where I don't want the ship. Never mind refit it. Man. You know what I mean? I don't want to spend another 18 hours on it. I'm, 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 well, it, it, you it, know, it, it's it's sort of like I, I don't know. I, okay, you know, okay, you don't want the ship, right? So you're not going to use it. So why don't you just put it in? Let it slow to change, slow re refit, and then try it out. Got, I've still got the silverfish to finish. I, oh, yeah, I've, okay. I, I, I left the silverfish hoping to have. That to play with, you yeah, know. Yeah, I suppose. Um, so I've got to yeah, get I just had I, mine, I had the dock free, so I thought I'll just bugger it. I'll just chuck it in. I'll I've got to get away thing. from the distraction that it is. You know, it's just like I say. It's, it's a lot of it's probably down to me. But having built that, I'm not happy with the build. I'm not happy that I've spent the time earning four four million points to spend on it. I'm certainly not happy. I spent five days to build tokens on it. Mm. It's just, it's not an enjoyable hole. I don't like the concept. Um, you know, from from my assumption, there was going to be the silver fish, which were going to be the top fleet, and we're going to be able to do everything. And then there was going to be a lesser, quicker to build fleet. Well, although it didn't have the time. That was my assumption. I will say something. I used oh, my please, silver please, fish. Okay. I Go used ahead. my silver fish in the 500. I can't remember if it was a 500 or 501 without using that before I had it. And I was able to kill it, kill the whole target. You do take extra damage from the second gluttony until you kill it. You know, you're kill, trying to kill one gluttony, the other one's pounding the crap out of your fleet. But I only took like quarter damage on my fleet by doing everything with just the silverfish. Yeah. So that's not, that's not too bad with the other gluttony pounding it at the time. Yeah, the, the secret is, you know, I, as you know, Aussie will tell you is, is to not is to engage the, the the, uh, the other ships uh, besides the gluttonies outside of the range of the gluttonies. Kill them yeah. all, you know, at, on the periphery of the target, yeah. and then go in and uh, um, kill.
kill them mm -hmm. individually with everything yeah. else gone so you don't need to deal with you know yeah, just draw them all down the bottom down. try and try and draw all the ships down to the bottom of the screen and you're right out of, or, or up to the top left you you can do that as well but the bottom is better if you can get them all down the bottom so jeff and ben you've been quiet been that's because the bloody aussie won't shut up <laughs> <laughs> um I have the unarmored silverfish. Uh-huh. And I'm taking about 40 minutes to an hour of damage taking the fleet out first in the 500s. Okay. Ones, and then about 10, 15 minutes on my uh, fire brat. Okay. So usually about an hour and 20 hour and 30 minutes for one target. Okay. But for me, that's the quickest way to get point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so no armor on any of the ships or um... nothing is armored. Okay. Huh. But I have my uh, steel plate is U1 Three of the regular fire or silverfish are uh, U2, and one is U1. Hmm. Yeah, at this point, I have all of them at U1, um, including the flag, and then the ship I put in the fifth position, I've put at U3. Oh. All right. What are you watching, uh, High Lord? <laughs> Getting off him. Oh, oh, it's a fan. I was walking around. One second. Let me turn that off. Well, I, 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 mm. there, was, there was one noise like uh, you know, it wasn't your fan, or it might have been your quote unquote biggest fan. But uh, yeah, there was a. Uh, hey, no, there's, there's actually no. The only thing on here is South Park. So, and I'm just okay, walking around. Everybody, I think everybody else heard the noise that I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, TSM decided to take us, uh, pay us a visit. So, howdy, TSM. Welcome to jump on if you want. I know you're not playing too much of the Battle Pirates uh, anymore, but I did see your brother uh, in my sector uh, uh, a couple weeks ago. I'm not sure if he's still around or not, but let's get back to our reg regularly scheduled program. <laughs> but um, <laughs> whatever, or, or we could watch whatever High Lord is watching. But uh, <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds much more fascinating, dude. It's South Park. I don't know what you guys heard, but I'm I don't know if it's mine. <laughs> okay, well, wasn't well, me. I'm alone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the links are out there in case anybody would like to join. But um, yeah, as far as you know, because I'm still seeing some degree of the number one ship and the number five ship, and the number five ship is taking. Uh -huh. Additional, well, was taking additional damage. I've uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, because we had, to, well, I felt like I had to. I put three hydrofoil plating um, twos on that one and the concussive seven and pushed it to U3. So I'm that ship is not taking more damage than the other ones anymore. Uh, and then I have one plate of X on the uh, the two, three, and four ships, so it sort of evens out the damage by doing it that way. At least as far as you know, what's going on with me? Hmm. I find my number two ship takes more damage. I don't know. Minus number five. And last night, <clears throat> they were all even, and now I'm taking number four. So, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that, that we're all getting different ships hit. Yeah, I've had to make sure my number two ship has the most armor on it. So, I've put my main, the one that's got all the armor on. But I'm last night, all five of my t were taking the exact same damage. And now, all of a sudden, it's decided it has friends. It's weird. 
Oh, now my number four ship's taking more damage. <laughs> See, mine was too. Go. I'm halfway through. I'm doing the one. What am I doing? One it's going to be something eight. really dumb. We're, we'll figure it out sooner or later. It's going to be something like the way we turn when we first go. That The first ship that they see is the one they, they like or something. Yeah. Uh, one theory was it was the whatever the lead ship. But, but if you turn and then they see maybe one of the wing ships, maybe that becomes the favorite. Who knows? Mm. Because I'm turning right away as soon as I go into the target because they're chasing me, so I turn and let them yeah. follow me. So maybe that's, I don't know. It does pick a ship somehow. <laughs> There's been a lot of weird theories. But none, none that are consistent, evidently. No, it's weird how it works. Also, I'm three raids ago. This happened to me. Sometimes when I use four ships, I'm taking less damage when I'm instead of using five. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had that happen? Yeah, I drop, I dropped my flag because it had the hydrofoil plating and left and just went in with four of the other kind, and they was taking less damage. <laughs> Weird. Is that a I know it's because they're all evenly being hit and we stack them, right? So if four ships are being hit the same amount, regardless of yeah, I guess. how you drive them, then five ships take 20% more, 25% more. Because hmm. as somebody pointed out last show, there isn't a huge advantage of the flag in this particular uh, time around. Rickets? Yep, sounds like it. Okay, you went for a beer run. Somebody has to fill in. <laughs> <laughs> has anybody been hitting the Saturn targets? I haven't heard anybody mention the Saturns at all. Yes. Yeah. When my when my silverfish are damaged too much, I put them in. I slow repair them because you know I don't I don't coin repair my fleets. So once that goes in, uh, once I put them in for a slow repair, I hit the Saturn targets. And I've I've been hitting the two hundred thousand one, not the three hundred. For no, yeah. like for base repair, so it's a good filler when you feel like getting some more points and uh, yeah, then your silverfish are in repairing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just doing 102s, and at the end of the night, do one of the companion ones to get a little bonus. Yeah, well, I'm just stacking one side at the moment, I'm doing some 108s. So I'll stack a whole bunch of those, and then later on I'll, do, I'll hit the others. And then that's where you have all of a sudden get points. Yeah, I only have the, the one, the Nemi fleet, so I'm kind of a little bit stuck. <clears throat> and also the, the kicks provided uh, uh, ships actually can take that lowest tar second lowest target. The Apollo? No, no, the Which one, one before that. The, uh, what's it called? Proto's Tide? No, the, the, it's like the subs. Bat Rays. Oh! Wow. The Bat Rays are doing really well. I can base repair them. It's a grind, isn't it? It's several times a grind. But I can base oh, repair them um, in that level target. And <laughs> that's, so almost... I have to give Kicks credit here. They've that's pretty inclusionary. If everybody can uh, use that long ago a uh, ship and still get decent points. By decent, I mean a hundred thousand points every ten minutes <laughs> or fifteen minutes. Well, I'm, I, I had to get a beer. What, what, what ship? The yeah. bat rays. The, the Kicks provided bat rays are actually getting me about a hundred thousand points every fifteen minutes. Yeah, and I've seen some of the. It wasn't really uh, zoomed in, but I did know that it had a Galea system on it, which was interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the, new, the newer gifted bat race have Galea on it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just using the old gifted ones. 
and they're yeah. doing okay. They okay. More than once. What's that? I, I think like, people are. Yeah, I think people. I don't know if people have been away from the game or who got the gift, but I saw on Discord people putting pictures of them, and they did have Galea system on them. Which that's was, not on all the ship. What the hell? Okay. But so. but I was what I was saying is that that means that anybody that has built bat rays in the last six months Wait. has a way of getting a decent amount of points. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. I hit I hit a couple of those targets. Yeah, they were for my build. Uh, was it was instant repair on the map. It was just a time thing. So, yeah. Mm. I mean, that's uh, a lot of seat time, but but, yeah. but 100,000 every hour or whatever isn't so bad. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, a million every hour, you know, but yeah. Or, you know. <laughs> um, has anybody, as <clears throat> far as the... Uh, uh, the silverfish. What has people found as far as the uh, the CICs? I don't really see that much of a point in uh, either one of them that much, but it's hard for me to tell. Uh, there's not that many smart torpedoes in the the targets I'm hitting. Mm. Uh, there's one ship that fires them, the ones I've hit. Um, so you can, and it's easy to kill that one. You know, they're easy to kill. Um, and then as far as the deadly, as far as surfacing the ships, I don't know. Has anybody paid attention? To <laughs> it's the killing them before they surface, so it's kind of pointless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Right now, I have a. I originally started off with a two-three ratio, um, two deadlies and three elusives, and now I'm at three deadlies, two elusives, and I'm. Uh, yeah, the ships are dead before they surface, so. Yeah, I don't know what the point of them is at this point in time. I'm running all the elusive, and like in 112, 114, there are more of the smart torps than there are in the X set. Okay. So hmm. it makes a difference in the 112, 114. Okay, and you're running four of them, you said? Five elusive. Five, five elusive. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't get hit by the smart torps. Mm. Okay. So. Yeah, but at this point, I, and the five hundred target or the the uh, X targets, the are there any? There's one. Yeah. Between both targets, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's. But the whole issue, you know, like um, Jeff brought up, is the whole issue is there's no, uh, you know, uh, Jeff, how many um, deadlies do you have on yours? Uh, two and three. So two on two, or sorry, three that are popping the torpedoes. I can't remember okay. which is which. Okay. And two, two that are submer or, uh, surfacing. Okay, the, the deadly is the one that surfaces them. And the elusive yeah. is the one that kills the other one. And I, I just did that for convenience because um, I don't like running away and waiting for it to pop and then turning around. So so I just uh, have three of them on there so that I can just drive normally. Okay. Mm. I'm thinking of putting all five on that so they'll pop before I not even have to worry about them. Yeah, I'm thinking of going back to five just to get them out of the way really quick. Because I, it's adding time is all it's doing. You have yeah. to turn and run away for a couple of seconds, then turn around and go kill the launching ship, like you said. But mm. it, it, it's just, annoy they're more annoyance than 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 anything now. Yeah. They just make you take a little longer in the target. Yeah, and they should have, I, I think the big problem, because the deadly, the one that surfaces them, has a range of 85, which seems a, a little too short for the way that they should be used. Yeah, you have to get in closer than you'd want to, anyway. Yeah, you're you're in, you're well within everybody's range at that point in time. So it, it feels like a range of around a hundred would make a lot more sense than eighty five. That way, you could, or even ninety. You know, there was a little bit more strategy to it as far as getting them surfaced. It, would, it seemed to add another you know, another element to the game. You know what, know what might happen, though, in the next round is they may make the the damage ratio, you know, like how much they 
uh, take in damage when they're submerged. Might that might be something they can toy with next raid, and then we'll have to tweak it a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I would expect that, and I'm I'm still wondering what we're gonna get as far as the uh, the FM prizes. Um, you mean the late breaking FM prizes? <laughs> well, the ones that were, uh, <laughs> it's like a whole carnival of noises going on, but they, uh, no, the FM prizes they're going to drop on, um, but we're going to get the, uh, the briefing on, on Tuesday. Oh um, yeah. I, I'm not talking about the new prizes that were, I'm expecting that we get probably during the show if we get any, because, you know, they're going to start going to bed in a little bit or whatever they do in Canada. They tuck in. You know, tuck in is eat, right? So Well, they have to get up early for hockey, so they're going to bed right about now. Okay. So, the well, at this point, the, you know, even the, the lakes are frozen unless you go way up north, right? Yeah, there's – they all go to the 4 a.m. rinks, you know, like the indoor rinks. They don't play hockey on the ponds much anymore. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's too bumpy. Yeah, at some point I knew the stat because of uh, Renato, who moved from Brazil to Canada. And at some point, I don't know why, I looked up the per capita number of uh, hockey rinks oh, yeah. in Brazil versus Canada. And it was like, in Brazil, it was somewhere around one hockey rink for every X number of million people. And it appears in Canada there's three hockey rinks per person, which I find to be fascinating. There's almost I, one in every neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, I, I made up both stats, but the difference between them is huge. No, you're was, right. It, it was it was closer to like like a thousand people or something, a couple thousand people. There was a hockey rink. And do you know what's funny about that? You still have to get up at three, four, or five in the morning to get practice time because they're booked all. 24 hours all the way around. Okay. There, there, there isn't, it's closed for maybe three hours each night. <laughs> I see. There's almost one in every neighborhood, you know, if you got a, like a mile square, something like that, that might be exaggerating a little bit. But there's uh, a lot. They're like Tim Hortons, one on every corner. Yeah. <laughs> it's not quite in that. In Detroit but... area, there might be half a dozen. In a Detroit in the suburbs, I don't know, but, but when I lived in Oakville, there was one like every time you turn around, there's a hockey rink. Okay, uh, so is there more? Um, is there more high schools in Canada, or are there more? Hockey yes, schools? I think there's. I think there's more high schools as well. Yeah, but you know what's happening now? They're paving all of the ice rinks and putting in basketball courts. Oh, jeez! Oh, <laughs> the Raptors, <laughs> the new yeah. national sport. <laughs> well, you know. You, yeah, you can play it outside. It's a cheaper game to play, that's for certain. So I lived I lived out in the um, plains of Canada for a very short period, and it's the smallest community I've ever lived in that had a nice hockey rink, a swimming pool, and a rodeo. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I've never actually been to Canada. I think so. there's a playground in every within almost walking distance of every. Well, not every neighborhood, but most of the ones that I've seen. Yeah, it's it's built into the when they build in their infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. set aside area for a certain amount of park per per house. There you go. Okay, Ben, Ben, you seem to have the best uh, time as far as your your silverfish. Uh, what specials are you using? Are you using the Hyper Thirty or what? no? Let me go in base and see. Okay. Because I, you know, the Hyper Thirty has been lambasted quite a bit recently. I've chose that um, as one of the specials on my ship, um, and I don't have a lot of repetitive time because I've only I didn't finish my uh, I didn't really finish my ship until today. Um, so I don't have a lot of experience. And then I had that incident where, you know, my suppressor just decided to surface for no reason and add an extra hour of time and then oh at the beginning of the raid 
I, as soon as my first hit of the day during, during the raid, I was at this point, I still didn't even have my um, silverfish done. <clears throat> Put my NEMS into a target, immediately flash crashed. Mm. So, that's what I find with flash crashes if I go in to, to do a refit or something like that, or I, I go and look at my refits and I come out and hit a target, I crash. Yeah, nearly every sense. time. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Refresh every time. Yeah, I do now. Yeah. yeah. Because every well, now and again, I'll that forget. actually makes yeah. sense because it's not freeing up the memory from the other thing. And it, you yeah. know, a lot of times it's. Sometimes I'll forget and I'll hit the target. And as I go to hit the target, I'm like, oh, shit. And as soon as it engages, it crashes. It goes right to black. Yeah. Oh, it just kind of, yeah, it just crashes. You need you're half oh, frick. And then you got to go, you know, by the time you go in there, you've taken damage. You know? Get in there as quick as you can. And then, of course, if you go. You're in when it reloads. You're in your um, base, right? So you click the button that says your fleet's engaged. Do you want to go there? And you go yes. Then you go there, and then you have another three other pop-up screens. Yeah, the pop-up screen. That's your sure, butt. They really need to get rid of those pop-up screens if you're going to go straight to a battle. Yeah, they do. Because you go to you know you think right okay I need to go because what I do is when I go in there as soon as it goes in there I click to the bottom of the screen to try you know that's. That's just my safe spot. My safe zone straight to the bottom of the screen because usually everything's dead by it down. But you can't do it because it's three pop-up screens. Mm -hmm. All right. Does anybody does anybody have good numbers, damage numbers for one twelves and one fourteens? I'm wondering if I'm done with these builds or or not, and I don't know how people are doing in the one twelves and one fourteens. I have not hit both of them. Like I said, I just went right to the five hundreds, so I'm uh, And I don't have I don't have a suppressor, so I haven't tried it. I get just over an hour in the 112, 114. Combined? Yeah, I just did a one. No, each. Yeah, I just did a 114. Hang on, I have to go and check so much, how much repair I've got left on it. So I only just did it. Hang on. I guess I have some work to do. I'm taking about four hours on both. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I hit them the first time and I wasn't really know what I was doing. Because I only hit like one or two of the 112s. And I. I, I I think I was around 45 minutes. Oh, that's yeah. pretty good. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. Mine's over an hour. I know that. I'm just going to see what But I only had a couple of them, so, you know, who knows? I took about two hours on each, so four hours total. So I have um, some work to do. Well, I've got an hour and 39 minutes left on it, so it's been repairing for like 10 minutes, so that's pretty bad. Yeah. All right. My specials on my silverfish, they're all the same. Uh, the hydro explosive casing, mm -hmm. it's a pretty simple build. Skirmish battery. Okay. The Galea. Mm -hmm. uh, alloy armor CTX 4. Mm -hmm. Advanced concussive payload 3. <laughs> and speed 6. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm running one of each anti on my ships, too. Okay. Well, that uh, makes sense. Yeah. And how much damage you're taking, did you say? A little over an hour in the 112, 114. Mm. Around the mm. same. Yeah, you, but you're taking significantly less damage in the... Um, in the... Uh, X. Target. X, X targets. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was taking. I, I had somebody prep a couple of the uh, back in the, the X targets, and I took like a half an hour on the five hundred one, but then I took like oh. um, just for my silverfish, and then or and then I took, but I had only hit them once or twice. So it's it's that's one of the things I don't like about. The way this raid tar this uh, raid cycle set up is sort of like by the time you figure it out, it's done. You know, yeah. So I guess it's good or bad, but you know. Yeah. But um, now, if I go in with the fire brat first and clear out mm -hmm. the butts, mm -hmm. my silverfish time goes to about a half hour. Okay, on the five hundred one, but not the five. The five hundred, I was taking way more damage. I'm for some reason getting pretty balanced time per time.
our game. Okay. Um, but if I my uh, fire brats dead when I come out that way. If I do it the other way, I take more damage on the um silverfish. Okay. Hello? I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Yeah, the background noise went away and I thought I got cut off. No, I think so, shut down. Okay. Um all righty. And uh I don't know. Anybody else have anything that we discuss? We discussed the CICs, we discussed the fire brats slash suppressors. Um I'm sorry if I miss anything in chat. Um yes, uh we all got uh fifty coins because uh Half Centaur was forced to use a touchpad when he was battling <laughs> Donuts with uh, uh, interceptors. So we all got 50 coins. If you didn't get them yet, there's probably, you know, I don't know why, but you should have gotten 50 free gold. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure what you're saving it for or whatnot, but you should have that. Um, is there anything else? Um, we think should, we should talk about as far as um, the raid, um, upcoming FM, or is there something else I'm, uh, I'm missing at this point? Did they hint at, at new additional prizes? In the FM? No, in the raid. No, no. I, just, I, the, that's the way it, I hear it. Yeah. Just the way that they, they always add them. So... The one that I think should be added, uh, that should have been in the original one, because when we earn prizes early, they call it, you know, you're, you act like we're, you know, at the end of the cycle, you're getting the prizes early. Mm. Am I mistaken? There, is there no advanced concussive payload three? Hmm. Isn't Which, that what it is? You mean in the in a prize list? In the prize list. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't see it. Yeah, I, which is... <sighs> Go look. That's, that's the special that's supposed to be going with these ships. So I'm like, ah, you guys are sort of screwing the people that didn't get it quote-unquote early. Um, so yeah. that prize should be added. It should have been there from the beginning um, to allow people that didn't get it quote-unquote early. So... <clears throat> You know. I thought I saw Golden Doodle put out a on Discord. You know, what do you guys want to see or something? Or was that just a? a yeah, you know, I, you know, I said nothing. This, me not too. Well. Is that a little bait? Tokens, tokens, suppressor tokens, two day tokens for suppressor, two day tokens for silverfish and, and flag. All the normal shit that should be there. I mean, it should be five or ten, but at least two days. Advanced. Oh, uh, payload two is in the prize list. Sorry. Yeah, but, but, but payload three. I'm looking for it. There. I, yeah, yeah. I saw it and I just stopped and said, oh, and it was happened to be two. Sorry. No, it doesn't look like it's in there. So, yeah, that was part of the original, you know, drop of the prizes. So that <clears throat> really should be in there for, for players, but I don't, I don't quite understand why it's not. But, uh, yeah. all righty. I don't understand why they have the in prayer turns Praetorian in the skirmish tech. Oh, no, the whole thing is, oh, I could do a whole show <laughs> how ridiculous that prize list is. Yeah. It's ported so badly. It is, it's not even like they, they used an intern. It's like they used, you know, Magic or, Mike. Or a monkey. It's like to use somebody's puppy to figure out how to, to sort that. It is awful of the way that that prize list is put together. It's it's you go through that and look at look at what it's everything's categorized. It's comical. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't even know what to say about it. If you go through the prize, it is just beyond comical. Um, but yeah, I didn't think people were going to learn too much besides, yeah, um, as far as that, but yeah, don't look where you think it's supposed to be. You got to go through the whole freaking list. Um, and yeah, Cuttlefish just says D7 CT and D7X. I expect to see, 
I expect to see D7X in the uh, in the FM. Um, and then, you know, how are you going to use it? Are you going to use it on your Praetorians? Are you going to use it on, at this point? Or are you going to use it on uh, your Silverfish? It's going to be quite a bit of demand at this point. So. All right. Well, if you don't have, oh, does anybody have anything else? With it being a two-month raid cycle, I'm probably just going to say screw it. Leave my Silverfish how they are. You know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. If you're having good luck with them, I mean, we're, you know, the only problem is, yeah, they're going to show up and pillage and, mm -hmm. you know, it's, you know, I, it's, I, I think it's a good decision at this point. You know, maybe there's, I don't know, I, you know, it's so hard right. to with what they're doing because they're much more unpredictable at this point in time. Of course, D7X is going to be what may, is the going to be like the upgrade weapon this time. It's going to be like, oh, now refit all five of our fish with D7s. Yeah, I have three D6Xs on the, my fleet, but yeah. Um, the that might be why you're taking so much less damage than me because I have two and I, I'm taking all explosive damage. I have three across the fleet. I have them on ship two, ship three, and ship four. Oh, oh never mind then. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, trying to figure out why I'm taking so much more damage, because I have the same specials he right, right, went with. Uh, oh, well. Oh, oh, the ones that uh, Ben had? I have yeah. different specials than him. Oh. Ben's got I no armor, though. Yeah, Ben has no armor. I have hyper 30. Um, so yeah, there's some differences and it could be driving, could be builds, could be, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe I haven't hit enough targets, you know, who knows? Driving does make a big difference in these targets. I've noticed. Yeah. So, Which is good because, because then the auto people, I always, we always like to make fun of the auto people, but, uh, at this, there's no auto with these targets. <laughs> I started a war there with the uh, auto people now. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that's interesting is if you're doing the top targets, you're getting shards, which takes eight shards to make one weapon now <laughs> for the next raid cycle. That's actually for the eradicator. <laughs> No, it's not for the Eradicator. It's for the Eradicator 2 Electric Boogaloo. That's what it's for. <laughs> oh, no, we're not using that. The fish <laughs> is fine, not, not the Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's for the. it's supposed to be for the next cycle. You could put them on your Eradicators, but then you're probably going to have to take them off unless you get a ton of them. So, um, yeah, and it is interesting that they've gone to the random, semi-random drop on that one where you get either two or one. I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. Now, now you can either get a drop of two or a drop of one. So we increase the, uh, the shard requirement to complete a weapon up to eight. And I'm like, eh, it's, people don't like the random drop thing. Nope. You know, it's like, ooh, I got two. No, it's more people be like, fuck, I got one. Is more, I think, what's going on. So, yeah. So I think it's providing, you know, more of a negative than a positive. So. I'm surprised nobody brought up the 1999 deal. <laughs> I'm afraid to nowadays. <laughs> Yeah, it has a lot of stuff. Um, uh, it has, a, you know, like a month of regular build tokens, like a half a month of the flag tokens. It's got upgrade kits. It's got upgrade tokens. It's everything you would want to get, what, uh, I don't know, close to halfway done. 
So it, it's out there. It's become predictable um, that that's what they're going to do. They're it's the way of life. Yeah, they're going to push you to the last. It's going to happen every month. Yeah, they're going to push you to the the absolute end, and then they're going to, you know, throw these things out there. And it's, I don't I, know. It's, I just want to say that it, I hope it's not a permanent situation like it seems like it might be. It is. You it's can count on as long as it's adopted. Well, that's my problem. Is I hope people don't take the bait. Well, I really do. But that's the nature of this game and the player base in it. You know, that, so do you buy tokens when they're thirty percent off? No, no, no. I've stopped buying anything like that. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's supply and demand. They, you know, we don't sell things; we allow speed ups. So they put they, they've in, they've infringed on your time everywhere so that you require speed up it's 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 not there's nothing bright or smart about it anymore right it's it's their tactic but you we know? don't have to fall for it that's what yeah. my point is that's the only thing but Some as soon as it comes up everybody, <laughs> sees, everybody sees bargain and rushes out to get it rather than saying you've just fallen into the trap that was laid for you We've reduced the, the amount of tokens available. We haven't, you know, we say we've reduced the build time, but then we've put the upgrades on. So uh, overall, to get a fleet up to full functionality now, your time has increased rather than decreased. And then, bam, raid starts. Friday comes. Here comes the offer. Just after people are feeling a little downtrodden and that, they, that they're not getting their normal achievement and point. And people are that, then... They swallow up the night the nineteen ninety nine deal. Job done. You know, they're telling they're tell, they're telling you what hole you've got to buy, what things you've got to put on it, and how much it's gonna cost you to play with it. That's the you know, if you accept that, you accept that. But if you if you do accept it, you've got to realise that you're endorsing that as a tactic. And I, I really think that could be the end of the game if it becomes a twenty dollar a month game where yeah. they count on you buying uh, that 1999 thing in order to keep playing, as we have said, and and I'm not, I won't pay 1999 every month for the game. No, it's not worth it. But the performance isn't worth it. I mean, it's fun. There's good friends and everything, but that gets to a ludicrous point. Yep. But I thought I'd raise that controversial topic at the end. Thanks a lot. But <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I won't endorse people. I won't tell people to coin, you know, to get this deal anymore. I won't say, hey, it's a good deal. Been burned too many times by that. Yeah, agreed. Just, well, never mind. <laughs> I mean, if I was they, say, how is that it's so their money, than, but. Than doing base hits and coin and repairs. I don't, I don't know how that's that much different. If you're a PVE player and you look for like, uh, you know, the daily offers that they used to come out with and they'd come out with like 30% off, something like that, you'd buy a token because it was so quote unquote affordable. How is that different than? Oh, okay, I'll tell you the difference. I, I can play this game in PVE mode and decide only hitting one base and I'm dead oh, and yeah. not find it again. But if I'm out of the FMs completely, I've lost one quarter of the game. Yes, completely. you have to be in the FM. And, and, and spending, being forced to spend $20 to stay in the FM game would be offensive. Well, how does the $20 I'll I'll, I'll relate tell you how to works. the FM? No, how does I, it relate to the FM? Sorry, I said FM when I meant the rate. This relates to the rate cycle. If I have to pay $20 to stay in the rate cycle. Right. If you can't do I, FM, I'm not playing anymore. Mike, how, how yeah. it relates to the FM is simply this. You I only have one shipyard that can build PVE fleets. Yeah? Granted, yes. So you're either taking up time building your silverfish fleet or you're, or you're building your Praetorians for the next step of the FM. So they've condensed the time. Previously, you could, as you rightly say, see an offer, 30% off a one-day build token, and you could buy that and that would be part of your 
tactic huh. to get ahead of the curve. Yeah, I used to do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, you oh, used to buy a token. You, you, yeah, that's the point. You used to, right? And I, they I get, stopped. Get, but they're getting you to the point where you see the bargain. But it's it's snake oil, mate. Because at the end of the day, they've increased the time pressure um, to do it, and and the overall build time to build a fully fledged fleet with all the upgrades. They they reduce the time span you have to do it. Increase the time to do it and then they put out a deal that the deal looks a bargain if they were still playing to the way they were a year a year ago you wouldn't need the deal at all yeah that's the point and the more people that get suckered into it the more they go right you know and the next step will be it'll be a 20 uh, 25 dollar deal it, it, it's all part of the ongoing monetization we have to make a choice. Well, if, well, if people want to spend their money that way, that's fine. That's their choice. It's their entertainment. I mean, you can you can spend yeah. that hitting bases all day and doing repairs, you do. I, I do or do you that. can spend it on getting ready for the next raid or the next FM or you could, you doing might, TV you could, stuff. You could do, but I look at people that spend money on the bases. You know, driving their howlers in, getting smashed up, mm -hmm. fifteen to eighteen coin repair. Do it again. I just think clowns. Right, but I mean, it's a choice, right? You, where do yeah, you spend it? There's guys that spend the, the coin of repairs yourself, all day long. But if you poke yourself in the eye, that's a choice. But don't complain that your eye hurts afterwards. No, actually, I, I want to add to that. I you can hit a, hit a base or two and not coin. It's when you can't hit any bases. If you, yeah, if you, that, that's if you the, lose. Yeah. And, and the same with raids. Um, ra raids. Raids that you only can coin would be a bad thing. Right. Yeah. I don't yeah, coin it, repairs and raids. It, it's a little tricky. I mean, you know, it's speaking, how you look at it. Sorry. Yeah. And speaking to what Jordy said, the next time it's be $25, I think it sort of already has become because uh, we, we had a similar uh, deal with the uh, in the assault raid, for, which was a three month raid. And we got a, sort of a similar deal for 1999. Now this has become a two month cycle. And so now we've lost a third of the value that we had when they first dropped this. So, um, you know, and, you know, as Cuttlefish is mentioning, you know, we have all these, you know, even with the 1999, you're not covering everything because of these upgrades. It's 11 days to take something from U0 to U3. And, you know, what do we expect to see uh, next raid? Uh, 9.99 deal to take everything up to U3? I think the upgrade system sucks, to be honest with you. The concept, the whole thing is just sucks, I think. <laughs> Personal opinion. It's not, it's not a separate thing, Mike, though. This is what you have to realize. That's why it's broken up. It's part of the, you know, smoke Same and thing, milk, only different. Funk, or whatever you want to call it. It's all part of the build time to make the fleet fully efficient. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, you, you, you put well, lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. Well, uh, but a prettier pig. Though. Okay, I'm going to say no more. But you put, it depends <laughs> on the grade of lipstick as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. I like gonna, pork, uh, actually. Oh, okay. So since we brought this, you know, this subject has come up, I, if they're going to make money, uh, what would be your preferred way for them to make, um, you know, what should they, what should they charge for and what, cause we've heard what you don't want them to charge for. Um, which, you know, I mean, they keep on changing things, uh, making everything sort of, uh, make it so people, you know, don't know what they're supposed to buy. And I brought this up for a couple of weeks. It, it's, it seems to be turning into a game of uh, finding the best deal. You know, this appears to be a good deal relative to the ones that were at earlier in the day where you could have spent 240 gold and got mm -hmm. like, like a 10th of this. Right. Exactly. So it's, it, it's, it's more like a bargain, bargain shopping type of thing. Um, the way it is now, which I, I don't know, that's a good move. I, I you know, I, I'm not a big fan of 
you know, I like to, you know, bargain shop for food and things on Amazon, but I don't know that that's what I want to do here, but that's what it's sort of turning into as far as these assets, which are the, the tech and whatnot that you win, they devalue over time and they're, you know, eventually they become clearance store at the end. Um, and, you know, how do you pick, uh, how do you pick along the way where you're going to buy as far on its way down to the, you know, to the, the, to the bargain bin or whatever, you know, you use in your country. Um, it's entertainment value though, isn't it? What you consider to be value for your entertainment dollar. Like you go to a casino and you're not, not necessarily expecting you're going to leave there with more than you came in with. I don't know. Depends what games you play. I play poker. I've always gone in there and then come up more <laughs> okay, money. Okay, well, you're good at it. Well, I'm not going to play, you play slot, slot machines. I'm not going to play slot. I'm, you, you couldn't even pay me to. You couldn't even give me money. If you gave me 20 bucks to go play the slots or 100 bucks to go play the slots, I would go to the bar and then buy some drinks and just leave it at that. Okay, bad analogy. I was just talking well, about I, entertainment, I, I'm just, I'm entertainment saying, for your dollars. What I'm, I'm saying. just saying, me personally, I'm not going to spend that $100 in the slots. You know, <clears throat> or, you know. For me, it's, it's there's something psychologically different between repairing so that I can keep playing the game with my friends and keep the raid going versus mm -hmm. paying for the boats in order to just be there in the first place. There's a psychological difference there that I think they better not bridge. Yeah. There's, a, there's a huge difference between paying to continue playing versus paying to just be able to play. I think I'm that's where I'm objecting. Yeah, and that, that makes a lot of sense. And there's another part of it as far as all the automatic damage. You know, nobody's talked about like, oh, I can go through here and it's instant repair. Or, you know, um, you know, when are we done? not anymore. <laughs> it's instant repair on the, uh, you know, it's instant repair on the map or instant repair on my dock for, you know, you know, there is a way around there's a way around it. There's a way to figure this all out. So it makes sense. Nowadays, to, to get to that point, it feels like it takes like a, a 1999 purchase and maybe later a 999 purchase in order to get to that point where I think a lot of people started playing the game is to try and figure it out, you know, and try to figure it out to a certain level that you could, you could figure out how to do it for free if you put your mind into it and, you know, spent the time and, and whatnot. I mean, besides like grinding, grinding away with old targets. And uh, everybody pays 10 bucks. Everything's instant. I, 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 don't, uh, I, don't, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, Philip, um, they don't like that model and I think you would lose a lot of players and it's too easily exploited. And it's also not very strat strategy. It, it, to yeah. some degree, this is a puzzle game. You're yeah. building a build in order to beat kicks in a way. You're like mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to beat them at the game and get as close to zero repair as possible. If it's $10 mm -hmm. a month, there's no game to it anymore. You're just grinding away, spending time with no matter what you're building. You could build crap and and yeah. still spend ten dollars a month. That that wouldn't inspire anybody to play it. Yeah, it would have to be that ten bucks would have to be very limited to certain things. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how that would work out. And it's never been the mo they've been suggested that model many times and never gone with it. And <laughs> oh yeah, I I, I I cast my mind back a bit, and I, I I think that I don't actually care what they charge money for or what they make money on mm -hmm. what I, what i dislike is the fact that they restrict and have constricted the time to force me to find and, 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 and the stuff i'm having to build and then potentially coin is not necessarily stuff i want to build in the format they want so i'm, I'm being put in a position where i'm Products to pay to build us, you know, asset ship in asset standard because of all the other restrictions. So I've been funneled 
um, or, or as, as the police say, kettled into a position where, you know, it's hands up and get cuffed or try and break out and neither are going to work. I just don't like it. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's, uh, I also don't like the, the fact that we don't know what's, you know, you know, back in the day, because I bring up the, the works in progress, the whip a lot. We at least had a clue what was coming around the corner. Now yeah. we have no clue what's coming around the corner. And, you know, and also like, you know, in addition to you, uh, Jordy, like Jeff mentioned, there's been a lot of strategy removed from the game with this sort of <clears throat> thing. I think Cuddle was bringing that up as well uh, in chat as far as, okay, well, you can fuck up every, way, every which way but Tuesday. Uh, but for 1989, we can fix the fact that you're not that smart. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just that's the way it sort of feels. I mean, I might be a little uh, rough with the, with the way I'm saying that, but it's it's sort of the way it, you know, we can soothe all your ills for 20 bucks if you wait for that right deal. And not your, not, and, and I, now I think I take part of that back because they haven't given us a lot of information on the targets. And so, yeah, people could fuck up a lot. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky what they're doing at this point. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not a big fan of all of it as far as, you know, lack of information over expectations, as far as what players can get done. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that aren't going well that I don't think they're in a rush to address at this point. It doesn't feel that way. Well, there's, there's still a bonus of 30 million to be to be um, qualified, isn't it? To the price of the, of the sale. Yeah, and I, I'm not even sure how that works. Is that's the because I don't know when their fiscal year ends. I'm not sure if it's calendar year. Or I, I don't even know how that works. So I don't know. Do we have much else that's uh, going to be helpful for people? <laughs> Other than st stirring the pot like I accidentally did. <laughs> well, uh, you know, you know it, it, was, it was a good topic. It's something we've been talking about. We don't really, I, don't, I just don't think we have a lot of answers to it. Um, um, we can all throw in opinions and, you know, if they listen and they, they want to pay attention to them, maybe they come up with some, you know, a good idea out of it or some complete bastardization of the ideas that we came up with and be like, oh, shit. I, didn't, I got an idea. I, I didn't want to be part of that. I got an idea. What's that? Um, Ten dollars a month subscription, five hundred gold monthly subscription. You know what I mean? Like ten dollars a month just to keep you there, and then you get five hundred gold, five hundred gold every month, as long as you're uh, subscribed. I walk straight away. Yeah, that's not really. Yeah, I'm not paying. I'm just saying, five hundred gold for ten bucks. I'm not paying <laughs> ten bucks a month for it. You don't have to. It's. I'm just saying that would be an option. No, I'm not, I'm not saying to... everybody has to do it. I'm saying, you know, people that like to buy gold, why not, you know, come up with a little subscription and you get $500 gold, every month. gold a month. I'm saving no money. I'm still down $10 a month. I'm not saying it's for everyone. I'm just saying that's there's an avenue there. But how do you, so you, you put just voluntary subscription. So all, all you've done is reduce the amount the coiners are spending, which then increases the demand for more money to be made across the whole economy of the game. Well, a lot of the, the money values are all falsified anyways. For one, it, we're buying time, so there is no value. So, um, you know what I mean? And I mean, with all, money, the, all the repair glitches in the past, all the times got jacked up. So once they like lower that back to normal, since all those things are gone now, then it might be a little bit more easier to, to figure out how much something really costs. It, it doesn't matter what jiggery pokery they, they, they put out with, it, with in names and time and all the rest of it. They, they, there are hordes of people waiting to play paintball at Kickside that you know that need that profit margin. They know they know a finite amount of dollars that they expect at the end of every month. Yeah. And they, they, they plan. <laughs> And and you completely change the economy of game with something like that because now you've devalued the gold that p other people that aren't subscribing would buy. 
um, you know, ghost uh, cuttlefish has a good idea with uh, new, you know, new ghost crawlers. Uh, yeah, that's that's one thing I could see. The other thing is, you know, outrageous looking skins and put them on the leaderboard. You know, if that leaderboard uh, money is legit, you know, just keep on doing the leaderboard stuff. Because is there? I didn't even know. Is there a leaderboard for this thing? Not for the raid. Yeah, yeah, it's um, because I, I, I'm wondering if they're. I wonder why, because it had to be a money maker. The only thing I can think of is uh, they wonder about the legitimacy. You know how legitimate some of those, you know, winners have been. You know, if there's problems with that, they're not going to communicate that to us at all. Um, but if there's really no leaderboard, there's got to be a reason for it because that looked like a money maker. You know, these people just trying to outdo, out, you know, a big pissing contest. If it, if, uh, if it makes profit, if it made any profit, or just having a prize of a badge or what have you, it, it, it makes no sense to stop it, does it? No, unless there's a problem like one of, you know, like I mentioned that maybe through chargebacks or something that some of this is not legitimate. And so therefore... Maybe that's why they're pausing this. In the in the in, in the unethical world of business, if it costs Kickside nothing, and they make two hundred bucks for having created a badge that cost them twenty bucks to do, they're on a hundred and eighty. Oh, why would they bother about taking it out? Okay, as an example, um, pillage like <clears throat> Aussie. I, he won pillage without spending any coin, but some of these events, it's like nobody, you know, unless you feel like you're going to spend hundreds of hundreds of dollars, feels like you're going to be anywhere close to the leaderboard. So you're not pushing anybody to actually do it unless, you know, you're willing to spend hundreds of dollars, you know, because some events, I'm confused on how these events work where some of the events where everybody's blitzed their fucking ass off and has zillions of points. And then sometimes it appears to be a reasonable leaderboard and you know how these are different. Um, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And therefore, you know, when it's all out of whack, uh, everybody looks at, it, Oh, you know, I just joined and every, you know, some asshole has 150 million. I, uh, you know, I'm not even going to catch that. You know, I'm not even going to, I just give up. I'm going to get, I'm going to get my uh, the hull, the ship, and the weapon, and I'm done with it. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I'm not talking about anything valuable as a prize. If it's just a badge, it, it doesn't make any difference. If they make any profit on anybody chasing a badge, you know, or, or they make no profit, but people are competing, as long as they don't make a loss. Yeah, but there's usually prizes as well. That's that's part of the problem, though, isn't it? That's yeah, the, the prizes are there, so people are going for the prizes. The badges is, isn't anything. Yeah. If if you're saying just a badge, then yeah, that's just stupid. Or 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 a or a baseball cap that seems to get them. Yeah, going. yeah, a baseball cap. Yeah, but if there's prizes to be won, then yes, it. But then the the blitzers usually just blitz the crap out of it anyway. But yeah. Well, a lot of those people are just going to go crazy. But just as much for a badge as they would do for some token. We've we've done the maths before this before, you know, and someone will get you know an an outrageous amount of points by blitzing, and we worked it out, you know, and they spend X amount of dollars, yeah, or X amount of coins getting these prizes, and then you work it out, and it would have been actually cheaper just to coin the fleet, yeah, than it was. Coining the blitzes or blitzing, and it's like no one thinks. And like, and like you said, you know, I usually do if I do get up to near the top, it's I don't spend coin in repairs. This one here, my, my silverfish spend more time in repair, dock repair, than out on the water. Yeah, hit one target and it goes into dock repair for the next hour. And that's another trend I don't like is the amount of time dock repair versus play time. I, I'm only using the fish twice a day and yeah, for about 20 minutes and I'm done. 
I mean, I only got 10 million points. That's just ridiculous for me. <laughs> but there again, like I said to you, though, my kids are having a party, so I haven't really been playing that much. But, but it doesn't right. matter. I've been coming in and going out, and I, I'll, I'll use my silverfish, hit a target, and then I'll go and put it in repair, and then I'll go off and back to, you know, help my kids. So, but then, then I'm using my satins and that in the uh, 108s. Yeah, they're instant map repairs, so I can keep continuously hit them while the others are in repair anyway. But I still only got 10 million. Yeah, but how much do you even need? Well, it depends on what you're really going to get. I mean, that's the other thing I'm looking at. That's another reason I'm not sitting here continuously, even though my kid, you know, shit's going on here. I'm not coming in there continuously hitting because I don't even know what these striders are going to be like. But, you know, I'm just going to get the, the suppressor, which I've already got. I've got the multipod sonar system, which I've already got. And so I'm just working on the striders. And I haven't even got one of those yet. <laughs> but I don't know if they're going to be any good anyway. don't know. But I don't, well, I don't I, do the shipwrecks. So yeah, yeah, I would still pick up one. Again. Pick up one, but I mean, yeah. shit. Even Is with everything point? you need, you might need what twenty million and or whatever, and you got well, six days or whatever. I mean, there's plenty yeah. of time. If you just picked up the suppressor, the stride, all the striders, usually you can only put three in a three of the interceptors uh, holes in a fleet anyway, and the multipod. That's um, just under twenty six. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. That's if you want to. Four hundred million. Why? It's it's no coincidence that the Strider was the fleet uh, of choice for Yannis either, is it? Sorry, what was that? Yannis had three of the Striders, didn't he? Oh, I don't know. Oh, in, in that competition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't see it, so I don't, I don't know. Well, I would, I would hope he hadn't had to purchase those to, to be. Did they, re did they record that battle? It sounded like a fun thing to watch. <laughs> yeah, well, there, there is somewhere it says to go and see it. Says on the top, stay tuned for a video replay. Yeah, I mean, apart from that, apart from the top two prize, uh, th the, or those three prizes, all I'm left with is. Arch Nemesis tokens, upgrade tokens. Well, they're already fully upgraded. My dragons, I haven't done them, but I think I've got them all any. I've got all the tokens to do them anyway. It's only tokens. There's nothing else left. I've got a, I've got a gazillion bloody um, <coughs> corrosive batteries and resistors. and. I'm actually happy uh, about that. Because, half the 30s. Because my them. fish weren't done, and I don't want to spend more than whatever number of hours and the fact there weren't a lot of must have prizes is actually a good a good thing in this case because because we can just do a leisurely raid and not have yeah. to be sitting here the entire time yeah well this is probably the only raid that i haven't sat here continuously <laughs> doing it but is it also the raid you the raid you've been least prepared for for a long time. Yeah, that's that's the nice thing. This is the least prepared for a raid I have ever been, but there are no prizes that I'm going to be screaming about not getting. And do you think that's coincidental or not? That's a good question. Did they deliberately make the first raid kind of a Passover, but for people that really want to be done and get lots of points anyway, that that's what the offer's for? Or did they just put three million prizes in there, but they didn't really think that, didn't know what we have or don't have or need or whatever. I, I would they don't even know what there is. They don't even know what there was because when I went, when the original post was put up on the forum, there was 333 prizes, right? And I put them into my spreadsheet and all of a sudden I've got, and I put them in alphabetical order and all of a sudden I'm thinking, hang on a minute. I've got double of everything pretty much. And some of them were different prizes. For instance, the rock. The rock satin in one spot was four and a half million, and it was there again for two million. It, it's like, 
And then I so I weeded out all the all the doubles, and I come down to 182 prizes out of 333. Yeah, that so took you. It all yeah, that took you a long time, or, or, or five ten minutes to sort that out. Yeah, uh, well, I, well, if I, I copied it, if I, I, I always copied yeah, the list and then I was wanting you not to look at something else and complain about something else. That's the kind of shit I put out. Because the only thing that we need to worry about that isn't on the, re the, the is what isn't on the prize list, prize list, not what's on it and what's wrong. The fact yeah, but you've got to go through it to see there. what there is. You've got to go through it to see what you need or what you want. Yeah, but you, you only you, you only need to scroll down and go, right, silverfish tokens, not there. Yeah, steel plate silverfish tokens, not there. You know, they know exactly what they've done with the ray and what prizes they've put in. That they've got the numbers wrong is is practically irrelevant because the key decision is not to put the silverfish tokens in to allow people to catch up. Well, it's something well, else that feels so. Com I mean, what they released and didn't, you know, like I brought up the advanced concussive payload three, which automatically should have been in here. I mean, I own it, but that's just silly that that's not in there. Even stranger, it's not in the 1999 one either, where it gives you the silverfish and its weapon, but it, they didn't put the special for the silverfish in it. Yeah, maybe so, they lost it. I don't. You know, <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's, maybe they don't put it on their builds, and uh, they didn't think it was useful. I, I you know, I don't. Of course, I did put that that special that nobody knows what it's for. Yeah, yeah, the multi sonar pod thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, what is that for? I'm yeah. getting. It. I, I I don't care what happens. I'm getting it just in case. Oh yeah, I've got it. <laughs> yeah, everybody's saying it's for, it's for the razor tails, and I'm like, okay, so you need to hit like 50 targets with razor tails in order to earn this, you know, to put it on your razor tails for next raid. It's gonna have less points associated with it, you know. And you know, every, everybody's about ready to melt down the razor tails, anyways. Isn't the razor tail the la the next one to drop for the next pillage? Like it's not gonna be on the next pillage. Uh, well, the bat. Everybody likes the bat raid. People don't like the razor tail. I mean, as yeah. far as well, the, the razor tail. I mean, yeah. I mean, but there's no skirmish at this point. <laughs> But that it's pair better. is gone, right? I mean, it's going to be the yeah. pair is gone next time round. Oh, it was gone this last pillage. Oh, yeah, there, there, was no, there was no skirmish in this one. So, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I'm assuming they made some changes to design and then product didn't realize it. And so they still released it. Yeah, because so. there's usually, like, two different... Like weapon choices or something maybe there there was supposed to be a different weapon we could have put on these yeah yeah uh, that, that's well, the other part of it in case it was a three-month cycle and maybe they provide a, spe a hugely overpowered special for explosive or we don't know at this point maybe these uh targets are very uh vulnerable to explosive so uh you know and so, therefore, if they gave us an explosive weapon that worked and add that special on, you know, maybe it works. But with a two-month raid cycle, I don't think the players would put up with refitting a fleet. Well, this Trident, Trident Siege Cannon, the shards we're getting for the one for the top prize in the 112s and the 114s, mm. I mean, that's obviously to go on eradicators, isn't it? No. No? I mean, that's, no, that's for the next cycle. It's for the Eradicator mm -hmm. too. I hope yeah. you know, yeah. Electric 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 Electric. Yeah, Eradicator 2 Electric Boogaloo. That's what that is supposed to be for. Oh, okay. But I'm yeah. sure people are going to use them on their Eradicators in the and meantime. They, and they, you did, got say, for them. they did say that. They said, we're giving you an early release of the weapon you'll yeah. use on your next raid ship. Mm. Yeah, so, so, it, which is nice because they're shards and, and it's hard to get enough of them. And you're getting two shards at a time this time instead of just one. No, so you, get, you get two or one. Oh, I've been getting two every time. Okay. Oh, so there's where mine. Well, if you look at the. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's two or one. That's why I was complaining about 
now it's a, sort of a random drop because oh, okay. you get two or yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And, and then they brought up the uh, the requirement from five to eight. So now they can dial that back later and just give mm -hmm. you one or change the odds. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? And then, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Do we have much else? Uh, the people should uh, know, or should we uh, proceed to the after show? Mm. It's gone a while, isn't it? Air and 40 minutes, eh? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm so. being fair enough. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah, unless something comes out that's, uh, you know, you know, again, there's no announcement. There's new prizes. So was, that's one of the reasons I let the show go a little bit long. Um, I'm willing to bet, though, in the next 20 minutes that we're going to see new prizes in the uh, in the raid. But that's just because the show is over. If we, we kept on going and rambling for another hour, they would wait another hour. Okay. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. But, you know, I, I would keep an eye out for new prizes, um, change your points, ex, you know, expectations and whatnot. So, um, Looks like they're I, 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 not picking those up straight away because I don't do shipwrecked. So I will pick them up, though, if nothing else comes up. Yeah, you can claim six of them, which is, it sounds a little bit over the top, doesn't it? Yeah, we can only put three in a fleet in it, well, with the other interceptors. You can only put three in a fleet, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. many fleets do they want us to build, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, but just so everybody knows, even though the uh, supposedly they are, uh, they have still haven't released a video of Giannis versus Half Centaur, uh, Giannis used three of them. And went 4 0. You know, it was the best of seven, and Giannis won the first four. So, um, but he used three of them to take him out, and uh, mm -hmm. it appeared to be pretty brutal. But, uh, what? Yeah, what I'm saying is, I don't do shipwrecked, so it's not yeah, really, I don't do it either. Not, I'm not just a big thing for me. I yeah, mean, I don't do to go, you know, say so your, your conquer fleet gets sniped by an intercept. Just the normal interceptors, so you know your, your strikes or something, and you and you have them, and you so you go, okay, well I'm going to die, so I might as well just bring my other fleet up here, and as soon as it, it finishes, I'll jump in and kill him. Yeah, but yeah. So yeah, I, I don't. And when are they fixing the bit where your interceptors can't hit the base, the outside guard? Um, the... I've been saying about it. Yeah, the PvP uh, person that's the person in charge of PvP is on. Um, he's yeah, he's on leave for two weeks. It started a little over a week ago, so he should be back oh. in a week. He's the one making the decision. That's why I didn't bring it up on the Wednesday show. Oh, okay. I that for a while. So once he comes back, um, once Saltwater gets back, they'll they'll work something out for that that's fair and equitable and it seems yeah. it seems more like a programmer thing like peter could take care of an engineering thing but maybe they, they think it's more complicated than you know what they told us earlier so, I, I really think that if they can use the intercept or the, the interceptor fleet to kill your base guard your outside base guard you should be still be able to have your interceptor fleet guard your base correct because it it's just going to wipe your fleet out no matter what you've got in there. Yeah. yeah. There's no there's no competition. Yeah, unless they're doing an experiment to try and figure yeah. out, uh, you know, should we have base guards anymore? Yeah, but we might as well not if they're going to use the press or the um, interceptors. interceptors. Yeah. yeah, there's just no point in having the base guard out. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. No, I agree. There's no reason yeah. for it. Yeah. So, I mean, you got to, it's got to be fair. You've, they've either got to let you use them as a base guard or it's got to be you can't hit your base guard with them, which which they're supposed to be doing. I think yeah, right. and, that's, and they told us months ago that that's what they were going to do. But but they, shouldn't have, they shouldn't have stopped us being able to use it as a base guard until they were going to do both at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you on that one. Yeah. So, 
Alrighty, folks. Uh, unless something crazy happens. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is it? Wait, wait. Oh, nope. I thought announcements had went up in Discord, but not the case. So probably we'll see you all on Wednesday. Um, while I'll be learning about uh, the changes to what changes to the FM targets, uh, what the new prizes are going to be. Um, I'm assuming something for the Praetorian and for your uh, your Silverfish um, would be my assumption. But, you know, they try to prove me wrong every week. So I used to be right a lot until this new crew got got there. So, yeah, yeah. So uh, see you all then. And I uh, hope you have a good raid. And, uh, you know, have a good time. Later, people. See you later. Later, everyone. Bye.